I went to a church function once when Pastor Cheryl Brady was speaking. Her talk that night changed my life forever. She said, you got to deal with being hated. You also got to deal with being lonely. Because real conquerors and real worshipers and real leaders don't run in packs. So if you've been the type of person that has never really fit in, <laughs> somebody said, well, oh, Pastor Brady, it seems like it works for everybody else, but it ain't working for me. She said, maybe it's because that particular area ain't supposed to work for you. Because for you, that ain't it. It was nice, but it wasn't it. It paid the bills, but that ain't it. You're gifted and you can do it, but that is not it. It was never part of your destiny to begin with. It might have been part of your journey, but it is not part of your destiny. And just because you had permission to walk with me in my past does not mean you've got permission to walk with me into my future. Oh, it is a blessing to know when it is not it, she said. And climbing out of that dark place in my life alone is when this piece was born. You were part of my life for a time. Only for a small bit of time, but for a time. Long enough to dent my world, short enough to question the depth. Back then I thought, just the reward of your presence brought in the sunshine. That if only I could get more time with you, my problems would subside. And all this time since then, I've regretted your departure. I chased after you emotion like weeds seeking water. I fought against you, leaving us like a lone estranged martyr. Fighting for an unwritten, unknown, unworthy cause. My pride stood in the rain of a new changing season, and with both eyes closed, I refused to see the montage of evidence that we were actually through. I shamelessly sought your affection, as if there was something I could do to make you want me more. I am fun, I am charming, I listen, and I'm always there, so there's no reason in the world that you couldn't care. I cut myself open just to let you see me bleed. I let you see me broken just to show my vulnerability. I even gave you the microscope to analyze me underneath the many degrees of shades from what everyone else sees. I squeezed a finer piece of inner seams to bequeath, and when I fell, I stayed down on my knees in hopes that you would see my need for your friendship. So, Imagine my disbelief when I finally saw the rain falling on me. A new changing season where the clouds I ran from were truth, showering down, washing away the rubies in your crown. And how incredulously naive I was to think that this was love when all it was was pornography. A fake sort of friendship where the only hint to the phony relationship was a sour aftertaste of a missatisfaction. Something that was almost there, almost true, but far from it in a way that never brought me close to you. And for the longest time, I racked my brain for something I could do, but huh, I guess there never really was a time when I truly needed you.